Hello, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back to another versus. Today's battle is battle Pretz. If you've never had Pretz before, Pretz is basically the savory version of Poke. And they're Japanese snacks and they are tomato flavored. So I recently found this at my local H Mart and I knew I had to get it. I've never had a giant Pretz before. In my previous episode of Versus, I did battle giant Poke. So I'll put the link down below so you can check that out as well. Also giant rainbow Poke, I'll put that link down below as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Let's like always try the original first. This is tomato Pretz and it's made by the Glico company. And let's give her an open. Love that. This comes in a four pack. How terribly convenient. And there are the pretz. I actually haven't had tomato flavor in a long time, but when I lived in Japan, I used to always get the salad flavor or sarada flavor, and I loved it. It didn't really taste like a salad, it tasted more like salad dressing, but it, it was delicious. Here is one beautiful stick. Same proportions as a poke stick, except this is more square. And of course, the topping, rather than being sweet, is going to be savory. All right, dirakimasu. Mmm. So good. The texture is very similar to a poke. I would say a little bit crisper and more oily, but completely different flavor. This is, of course, savory, and it tastes like like vegetable flavored crackers. If you imagine the seasonings they put on croutons, this is very, very similar. I think there's a little touch of MSG in there as well, which just makes it extra addictive. Delish. And incidentally, it doesn't taste anything of tomato. You don't get any of that tomato flavor. <laughs> so now let's try the giant breads. Again, I'm disappointed that they don't open like the other ones do across, but they do open this way. Ooh, that did not open very satisfyingly. Like the giant Pocky, they are individually wrapped. I love this packaging. Look at this. It's so cheery. Green with bright red tomatoes. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Out of the way, original. Let's open it up. Oh, there's two inside. Here's original. And here's giant. And these two are square. Do you know a lot of mint actually has a square stem? It's true. Put your fingers around a sprig of mint, you'll notice that the stem is square. It's true. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. The taste is spot on. They taste exactly the same. The only difference is textural. This is more substantial and scaled up. It has a different texture. It's not as light. But in terms of the ratio of seasoning to actual breadstick, it's exactly the same. Which makes me think the breadstick itself actually contains some seasoning as well. It's just not a seasoning on the outside. Good. I think in terms of taste, better than my pokey experience. But I think I still like the original better. Simply for that. Just like the original pokey, I just really enjoy that really light, delicate snap. Mm-hmm. But this is fine. So who's the winner of Battle Tomato Pretz? Original. Giant is nice as well, quite novel and fun to share, but yeah, I'm still smitten with the original. All right, so that was another versus challenge. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other battle suggestions you'd like to see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends, leave me a comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Tulu, take care, bye. And these are called tableas which are made from native cacao trees. Miss Ligaya thinks they're definitely a Spanish influence. The Philippines were colonized by Spain for over 300 years, so that totally makes sense. Oh, wow, cracker. Delicious.